All right, we got what looks like to be a hybrid on the top water. It is uh, coming in right here. Oh, it's a good size, a striper. Oh, there it is. All right, we got one. Yeah, we finally got a striper today. Good job on the mag popper. Yeah. Already reviewed. What's up guys, uh, this is Connery from Out of Work Outdoors and uh, on our channel we do a lot of uh, lore reviews that we've tested and we know for sure catch fish. Uh, if it doesn't then you'll probably see it on camera but you'll never see an official review from it or of it. Um, this is a good example of what I'm talking about. This is the Yozori Mag Popper and we've been fishing this lore for, heck man, uh, this, I mean, I've had it for 3-4 years now. And about two years ago, this is when this lore really, really started shining. And where we fish, uh, there's we we fish on land a lot, so we need the ability to cast really far. And and this is uh, on surf rods or, or any type of just regular uh, seven, eight foot medium action, but a strong backbone, of course, that can really throw this guy out. This is. This lure weighs one ounce, and it's a five-inch size. Okay, so it's not exactly small. Okay, and that's not, and that's the whole point of this lure, is we this lure will target the bigger fish. Uh, some of the bigger sand bass will still hit it, but this is primarily going to be targeted towards the hybrid stripers, you know, the and stripers, uh, anything twenty inches and higher. Uh, for a little small fish to come and grab this, it's it's going to be kind of hard to, to even get a hookup. But um, just to give you an idea of how much we've used these lures, this is a good example of one. This is probably the first or the second one we've ever picked up for you know testing purposes and just for us to use. And yeah, it's all beat up, and we've retired this lure. We've actually lost it twice, and Hybrid Killer uh, had to... Uh, swim out into the river and get it so that's how good it was at one time and it's still uh, one of the best lures that we have right now uh, it's in like in its, its own it really is in its own class <coughs> yeah, let me go through some of the features a little bit on the back they give you a decent description of what's going on and I just want to describe the the uh, magnet system and that's one of the reasons why it casts so far um, let me take this brand new lure out of the box and this is actually one of the lures we'll be giving away in one of our further uh, lore winners or contests so at the time of this video uh, this lore will be the one that we will be giving away uh, I don't know when this video is going to be coming out but as you can see the magnet system is located right here there's three ball bearings inside and there's a magnet that is glued right there so when the lure tips the magnet doesn't go anywhere, but as you whip this lure on your rod, kind of like that, it'll force all the balls to go to the, the rear end of the lure, okay? And when you do that, all the weight transfers to the back, which allows you to cast this thing real straight. And since it's a very aerodynamic design, it actually goes very, really far. A lot of times, this lure doesn't even spin or twitch. It just fires straight out, just like that. And it'll land in the water. Once it lands in the water, it'll it'll sit like this. Like, say my finger's the water level. It'll sit like that in the water. But as soon as you give it a little twitch, and usually it's a pretty, you got to give it a decent twitch, the very first time you twitch it, I'll demonstrate the balls. The balls will start sliding to the front. And when it does, you heard that click. The magnet in here is now... A, pulling this bar in towards the belly and it's stuck and as you're walking the the bait now the balls don't go back okay so the lure casts with the butt end heavy but once you walk it the balls will lock into the front and now you have a lure that swims 
very well side to side and it stays upright well it stays like this I say that's the water level my fingers the water level it sits like this on the water so now you have a lure that sits just like this a lot of the ass and heavy lures they'll sit like this in the water when, once you stop retrieving but that's not the case with this lure and that's I think that's one of the key features of this lure um, <clears throat> And the lore does come in a lot of different colors. This is this is the ghost macro color. And here's another color that is popular. They also come in the very popular sardines and the redhead white body. And I'll flash up a couple pictures of the ones that we actually have on the project. And uh, just to give you guys some, uh, some idea. But in terms of hookup ratio, this lore is pretty good. I mean, for, for a 5 inch, it's got two giant hooks on here. I keep on forgetting what size the, uh, the hooks are, but... Um, I'll kind of annotate that because I don't know off the, the top of my head. And the hooks are really, really sharp once they come out of the package. There's no need to uh, replace them or anything like that. So go ahead and keep them. I've never had a, an issue with them, uh, like not holding fish. It's usually, if it's not going to hold fish, it's just because the fish didn't hit it right or something like that. Or you get like a cheek hookup. And with cheek hookups, everybody knows, uh, especially on top waters, you get a lot of those. And especially when you, you're you're swimming the, the the lure back and forth with swim in it or doggy walking it really really fast and the, the fish will just sideswipe it. It's not like it's engulfing it. If it and if it sideswipes it, it'll get hooked on the cheek and you know a couple yards later it'll come off. But that's to be expected with most top water lures. The other thing is this lure's got a big mouth here and it shoots water fairly good. It's not the best water popping action out there but a lot of the big poppers out there they'll pop water but then they'll just do this type of deal they don't actually walk and pop at the same time so if you know what you're doing you can actually pop it and let it sit pop it let it sit pop it let it sit but if you're good you can walk it the dog and then you can change the retrieve okay that's that's a good thing about it so depending on the day you don't have to have two lures you can just have one and you can pop it or you can walk it, or you can pop it, walk it, pop it, and walk it. It's it's a good lore to have. And, <coughs> excuse me. The reason why it's a great lore is it's also a through wire design. And what that means for a lot of people who don't understand what a through wire design is, is you have a wire that, a single wire, a lot of fishing lures they'll have anchors. They'll anchor your hooks into the points of the plastic or wood for that matter. For any lure but what this lure is is designed for big fish and you'll you'll notice is all the bigger lures or the bigger saltwater lures or heavy duty lures you have a wire that either goes straight back or it'll somehow wrap the bottom and here it is if you look at this diagram really close you'll see that there's the hook point is here and here and then you'll have your uh, your front tie in or line tie right in the front um, and it's really has held up to its uh, some beating because this one we've uh, we've thrown it against everything. I mean, we've caught huge stripers on it. We've caught huge hybrids on it. Um, I'll shoot a link. Actually, I'll just, I'll just shoot some link and a flash in some video of us uh, of me actually fishing by a, a dam, and it was really hot on this color that day, and throwing it up against rocks and things and hitting damn walls and once in a while I mean on the way back a lot of fish are just like hanging out around structures so you're always going to cast towards structure uh, usually the closer the, to the structure you'll get the better the hits so over the over the course of a uh, probably three months we, this this lore went from like this condition to this condition and it's held out pretty well I mean this has hit at least 20 walls and at least 50 rocks okay boulders right not just tiny rocks and the magnet system doesn't work anymore okay but if you look at how the construction of the lore we've lost a lot of fish uh, in the past due to other lures that do not have a through wire design and if you look at this I mean this this wire is out it's just sitting out here now and that's when we decided to retire this lure and we've actually hooked a, the last couple of fish we hooked it was actually a rare hook a uh, hookup and if it wasn't or if you didn't have a design like that you definitely would have lost that fish and how just think about 
for, to all you guys that are watching this review, how many times have you hooked up on a big fish and you think you've lost it, but you, when it comes back, you look at it and it's just no hook. Hook's gone. Hook's been pulled out. Things like that. I know that happens a lot on the hens, uh, Zara spooks, the spooks, the super spooks, and other lures. Even some of the big bomber crankbaits will do that. So, um, yeah, it's a good lure. Quality and construction very well. Eyes are always super nice on the Yozuris. I've always liked the eyes. I've always liked the attention to details on the Yozuris. Gill plates are always, always a, seems like a must in the Yozuris. Uh, the only thing that's uh, a downside of this is uh, this is fairly rare to buy one of these in stores because I've bought it a long time ago at Bass Pro maybe once and I've tried to go back and try to get another one but no luck. So most of your purchases are going to be online. Um, we buy a majority of our lures from eBay, either used or in good condition or brand new through the bidding process. So eBay is always a good uh, place to go look for these. Um, and that's exactly where this one actually came from. Uh, price wise, usually on average you can get one for about 10 bucks. Okay, um, that's for this color and this color. Don't know why, for some reason, these two colors seem to be the cheaper colors. I guess it's easier to make or something. Uh, the other colors are, you know, they'll set you back maybe 15 bucks each. All right, so, um, this. So this lore, it's it's in every one of our tackle boxes. Every time there's a top water hit, this is Sooner Lake, uh, Keystone Lake, Ulaga Lake, anywhere. As soon as there's a top water hit and there's signs of big fish, everybody always says, "Get the mag popper out." And you throw that out there, and we always do, and it has never disappointed. Uh, the mag popper is our lure that casts the furthest. And this is a one ounce lure, but it'll cast farther than most two or three ounce topwater lures. You know, spoons, they don't count, but topwater lures, it's hard to beat a Yozuri Mag Popper. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you watched this far already, I'm pretty sure you like what you've just seen, so please be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. If you have any pictures you'd like to share with us, please post them up on our Facebook page or tag us on Instagram.